Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Olivia. In today's adventure, we're at Itasca State Park in Minnesota, known for the headwaters of the Mississippi River. Speaking of the Mississippi River, here it is, the mighty Mississippi in all its glory. Uh, a lot of people like to come up here and walk across. There's a log over there, and eventually, of course, this uh, river will make its way down all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. Of course, we live a lot closer to where it's a bit wider, um, but Mississippi River is pretty cool. And speaking of Mississippi... We are collaborating with Mississippi Adventures. Nice name there. Stick around to the end of the video, and we will tell you more about it. Welcome, Welcome to, to Calico, Calico Adventures. Adventures. The weather that day was incredibly beautiful especially driving up to Itasca, going through all the, uh, driving through all of the pine trees you can see. It was absolutely incredible. Every time we go there, I enjoy the drive up to Lake Itasca. You can see it's part of Northern Minnesota, where the Mississippi headwaters, where it starts. It's just, um, just breathtaking all around. Somehow, every year, we <laughs> buy a pair of pants, lounge pants, generally, every have, year. I don't have, I don't need pants this year, I just bought a bunch. <laughs> so the trail that we are hiking on is currently unnamed, as far as we can tell. There's no actual name, but we'll be going past a cemetery and hopefully a lot of other good sights of nature. We'll also be getting in close to four miles once we're done. And here we go. <laughs> that is correct. Unfortunately, the sun went away. I thought we were gonna have sunshine. It's still early spring up here. You can see some of these leaves and, and brush are very new still. Whereas by us, it's, all the leaves are fully bloomed and all that. Look at that tree. Is there anything holding that tree up? Uh, yeah, a very, very skinny, smaller tree. <laughs> All right, next windstorm. Keep an eye out. <laughs> right. Don't go hiking in storms. <laughs> <laughs> so Itasca State Park um, in Minnesota here does actually um, hold the state's tallest red pine tree and it used to hold the solid state's white pine tree as well but that tree got struck by lightning and is now a lot shorter and dead <laughs> so but some of the oldest uh, pine trees in the state of minnesota are located in this forest so we ran into a couple of canoers um there at the headwaters and they are doing the entire mississippi river and they've actually done the lower half already, so they came up here to start the upper half. And they'll actually be going by our area in the Bluff Country uh, when they're on their way back down. Portaging, for those who don't know, is when you canoe across multiple lakes, multiple rivers, and when you hit land, you pick up your stuff, you pick up your uh, canoe, and you hike with all that gear to your next water destination so you can continue your trip i know that's a bad one but that was a house <laughs> right to check <laughs> yes the journey must carry on that was weird <laughs> i was trying to be dramatic dramatic jeff 
David S. Patterson came to Itasca in 1889. Patterson made claim to 152 acres. And can you imagine? <laughs> Just, oh, this is mine now. Which included the headwaters of the Mississippi. He purchased the land in 1891 for $191. Not bad. Patterson's <laughs> cabin was north of McMullen's cabin, near the present day museum building in the picnic area. We're now walking on another trail that we just found. It's not on my map, so hopefully it's on Jeff's map. I'm planning on getting lost. I, I trip over. I tripped route. over the exact same route. <laughs> <laughs> Got the pine needles underneath our feet. Uh, we can't really get lost though because there's a main road right over the there to right the tree. There. So here we are at the Pioneer Cemetery. We just saw it on a map. We're not really sure how, how Pioneer, Pioneer is Pioneer here. But it's right on the edge of Lake Itasca. A very beautiful place to put a cemetery. Yeah, I mean, if <laughs> when I die, I would love to be buried in a spot like this. So there's some gravestones over there that look fairly new. So I wonder if they're related to the people who first homesteaded here in the 1800s. And then you have the obelisk. Minnesota Conservation Corps Project. <clears throat> so let's see. I've got a sign here. So it looks like yeah, the obelisk. It's number three. Number William oh, McMullen. Yeah, number three. Yeah. William McMullen. He was an Itasca homesteader who operated a small ranch and resort for travelers. He established the cemetery in 1898. It now contains 14 people. The last one was Ida Johnson, who was the wife of Walter Johnson. And Ida Johnson <clears throat> is number nine. So off there on the side there. She was the very last one over there in the corner. It does say note, seven children under the age of 10 are buried here. Childhood mortality was likely due to disease. Tina also joined us up north on vacation, and while she stayed in the camping trailer, she very much had a good time as well. We are collaborating with Mississippi Adventure and he will have a video sometime 
on the lower half of the Mississippi River by Mississippi, hence his namesake, Mississippi Adventure. Go like, subscribe, and sign up, and check out all the fun he's having. And thank you, of course, to Mississippi Adventure for the collab. We now leave you today with nature footage captured at the headwaters of the Mississippi River.